we're doing this documentary on love um, and what makes marriages last. Uh -huh. So what I would like to know from you is plural marriages in Utah, big old headache. You're effectively the first AG who's come in and said, okay, this is a, this is a problem. How have you decided to solve it? Well, there are thousands of practicing polygamists, maybe even tens of thousands of practicing polygamists in the state of Utah with thousands and thousands of children. We do not have the resources in the state to put 5,000 polygamists in prison and then take all their children and put them into our welfare system. Texas couldn't even handle 500 kids in that raid down there. And so we, so as a law enforcement official, I have to decide whether I, I, I go and prosecute every single crime and, and bigamy is a felony in the state of Utah. Resource-wise, we can't do it. So how do I best use my time and resources, limited though they may be? That is going after crimes being committed primarily against women and children within certain polygamous acts, child bride marriages, incest, spouse abuse. Uh, these things go on in those communities just like they go on outside of those communities. The problem was for 50, 60 years, because they were closed and isolated, law enforcement didn't go in and check. They didn't protect those women and children. And that's why we're here today uh, with the safety net that's providing services, hoping they'll trust us, they'll see me not as, uh, if you come and tell me your problem in your family that you're being abused, that uh, because you're a practicing polygamist, that I don't then slap the cuffs on you and haul you away to the jail. We tell them that, no, we're here to protect you, you're entitled to that protection law as well. So what effectively are you happily, not turning a blind eye, but what are you, allowing them to do? Well, we, we've said adult consensual bigamy in Utah that we're not going to prosecute it. Um, but we are going to prosecute any crimes against children, these child by marriages. In fact, we upped the ante and I went and had the state of Utah in 2004 make it a second degree felony punishable by one to 15 years in prison if you marry a minor in the state of Utah. Anyone under the age of 18, the female is married in a polygamous relationship, that man is guilty of a secondary felony. We will prosecute that, a serious crime. We've got the word out, and those child bride marriages in Utah have stopped. We did not have one evidence of one child bride marriage in the state of Utah since 2005. Now, I know we know that they left, they fled to Texas. They were doing it in Nevada and Arizona. Fortunately now, Texas and Arizona and Nevada have all said, eh, you can't do it in Utah, you can't do it here either, and we believe it's, it's stopping. Perfect. I love my wife. We've been married for 29 years. Yeah, tell us quickly about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to hear. That's what I was so, so the So the three questions that we've been asking every couple that we've met, and we've yeah. met everybody from Alaskan natives through, there's this kind of Russian Amish sect who wow. live in Alaska. Uh, we've met gay couple who adopted, uh, gold miners in Dawson City. We've just been collecting interesting people as we've gone along. Yeah. Um, what is the piece of advice? First, tell us how long you've been married. Okay. I've been married 29 years to my beautiful wife, Melissa. We have five children. We are LDS. Uh, we believe we're married forever and ever, not just until death do us part. That's kind of nice to think about. And uh, she's a wonderful partner who lets me be a politician. And she's the mom and the grandma. And uh, I couldn't do without her support. And what would your advice be to us starting out? We, we got married in November. So yes, congratulations. Nine months wonderful. married. Let her drive the motorcycle every now and then, and you ride in the sidecar. <laughs> it's all about, yeah, working together, making, you know, what we do is every, we try to make, make our partner, my spouse's life number one. Not, what are you going to do for me? It's, what can I do for you? I think that works. It's a great thing to have. Yes. All right? <laughs> um, and the final question is, love is in a sound bite. Huh? It can be anything in the world. Man. Waking up and seeing her face in the pillow, it could be her letting you fart in bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, not necessarily that. I can say that one? <laughs> Man, you've been talking to my wife? <laughs> now I'm suddenly he's sweating. I repeat, he's about to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Love is equality. It's uh, mutual respect of each other and looking out for the other. Okay. Um, what's your favorite thing about your wife? Oh, my favorite thing about my wife, she is really smart and she's really funny. She makes me laugh. And most importantly, as elected official, she, she reminds me daily that I'm not all that. <laughs> Remember, she says what you're doing, you're here to serve people, and don't be getting a big head because you're on uh, you know, some documentary about love. <laughs> <laughs> she basically sucks the, the, the smoke. I come home and she's like, who do you think you are? <laughs>
no, it's good. I need it because it, it can get heady. But she's also there when I come home and I've just been beaten up by the media. Someone drew a, a bad cartoon of me and I'm feeling bad. I come home and she makes me feel better on that end too. So, and because great. she's known you from when you were just Mark. Yeah, that kid. and I'm still just Mark. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. She has to remind me, you're not the attorney general here. Do not cross-examine me. <laughs> you're Mark. Not gonna do the dishes. Not do the dishes. <laughs> Feed the dog at the trash outside. Or get out of politics, make more money, and I can hire it out. <laughs>